Hello everyone, welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Pretty good game so far. Last time when we first started my premiere stream of it, uh, I love the story and the atmosphere. And uh, we're in the midst of exploring Derseto, the mansion. <clears throat> Obsolete items have now been archived. Oh, really? So these are, these are chapter one items. The family Bible, the sabotage, the Picayuni post, and the talisman schematics. That's interesting. So now you find out there they don't apply the chapter you're in, you don't really need them anymore. Okay. That's neat that it does that, I guess. The last two things we had found <clears throat> was the sitting room key, and we had just gone into the medicine chest and found Dr. Jenkins' lozenges. So we don't know what to do with those, right? I guess we're going to give them to someone. We don't know anyone who has, like, a coughing problem, do we? I guess we'll have to see. But right now, I think what we're doing, we're trying to head to the sitting room, correct? <clears throat> When we go to the sitting room, hopefully we'll find a way to, to eventually repair the decorative plate in the on the boiler. That's what we're working on. Um, so where is the sitting room? We are currently here in the hall, main hallway at the servant stairs. If we go up the stairs, we should be able to go through that other hallway, take us to that main hallway, and then maybe get to the sitting room. Okay, I think that's what we need to do. So let's go up the stairs and, and go from there, right? Have I considered blackout curtains? Yes, I have. I That's probably what I want to get. But since I have a, a weird window, it's not a standard window. It's a way long sliding window. It's basically have to be like a custom order deal. <clears throat> um, if I'm going to get good blackout curtains. And they'd probably be pretty pricey. So that's why I haven't done it yet. I mean, eventually I probably will. But I think that would benefit this office a lot to have blackout curtains. But, uh, you know, hopefully something for the future. Alright, so here we are. Oh, by the way. Back over here. I think this gets us to the main hallway. Yes. Cool. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Yeah, he had said that last time. Yeah, so there's rot coming through the mansion in certain spots. Okay, so now we should be able to get into this win this door here. Sitting room key. Brand new room we haven't been in yet. We got first of all, oh, there's something missing. A locked globe. So the globe is technically like a chest. We have to find a country. What country is that? There's Britain. There's Spain. Italy. Is it France? I'm terrible at geography. So if you make fun of me and say no, it's not France. It's a it's an obvious country, and you're stu stupid. Fair enough, but I think that's France. It's missing. Correct? It's clearly France. Okay, well, at least I have a brain. <laughs> it's France. I wonder why France is missing. Weird art. Wait a minute. Isn't that a famous sculpture? Is this not a famous sculpture? And they just recreated it in the game? Because I swear I've seen that before. Well, we have, like, a lot of doors to go through. Damn, there's a Grace's room. WC and Cassandra's room. Let's see what WC is first. The water closet. Get it? The bathroom? They used to call it a water closet. Did you know that? They used to call bathrooms water closets. And then eventually they changed them to be called washrooms or bathrooms. Don't ask me why they called them water closets. Also, don't ask me why the reflection in the mirror is showing his back. You notice that? Look, it's actually not reflecting his face. It's totally showing his back. How crazy is that? Huh. Right? Let's see what's in here. Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's the kid. Oh, just smoke right next to the kid. What a nice guy. I guess back then they didn't care. Oh, good. Luckily, the lighter doesn't work. <laughs> That's how they explain. Oh, it's fine. The lighter didn't turn on. What do you got there? You got the statue something? of Venus? I thought so. It looks familiar, that Nothing statue special. in the hallway. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? 
I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Really? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at Cassandra's all. Cassandra's the writer with writer's block. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Remember, she's, she's uh, Besides, handicapped. she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. Mm -hmm. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting content. I'm sure a, a little girl would be reciting this, by the way. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Oh, the drunken guy. Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Huh. What's up with her? She seems... She talks like she's older than she is, right? But then again, we had someone... That woman who's 33 said that she was... A woman who was an artist... Back in the so day. This is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. Yeah, so Cassandra Beauregard... Remember, we read her story? She was a prominent... Uh, writer. But then she got into an accident. And she's now in a wheelchair. But because of that, she got addicted... To drugs and now she can't get off the drugs and that's why she went here because she had writer's block <clears throat> but they don't know if they're gonna be able to help her or not because really her problems are drug addiction not anything else what is this so aha uh -huh. there's more of that rot again like it's guiding me to do something but what there's rot look at that if i find the full set of bottles then maybe i can make something out of the stains of rot okay there is a stain of rot on the bottle, but I don't have the fourth. We need a fourth think I have bottle. I need. We need one more bottle and we can do a puzzle here. Okay. Here. Oh, how much do you want it's to bet? One of those strange padlocks. How much you want to bet this is going to give us the combination? And what's in there? Ah, oh, it's the thing we need for the boiler. Ha ha ha, look at that. If we find one more bottle, we can then do this puzzle and get the combination. Wait, there it is. Margrave Liniment, one of several medicines prescribed to author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. Okay. made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two, five, something seven. I can't read the number. Is that one? Does it say two, two, five? I can't read the number on the third one, but it's seven on the last one. Does anyone know what number was on that third bottle? I can't I can't read a number on that third bottle. Maybe it's just 257. Maybe it's just 257. Right? Okay, cuz that would make sense. That would coincide with a 3 entry, but now what do we do with 257? Your medicine clue. Miss Beauregard, <clears throat> I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. We already did that. We already have it. Oh, wait a minute. How much do you want to bet? This coincides with the picture in the other room, but that's way downstairs. Because that's the one that has the Zodiac attached to it, right? Did it archive that anywhere or no? Oh, shit. I don't think it did. Oh, man. We have to go all the way back downstairs and look at that picture on the wall and look at 257. And that's going to give us... I think that's going to give us the astronomical... Wait a minute. No, no, no. We have it. Here it is. Okay. So 2 is Pisces. 5 is Gemini. And 7 is Leo. 
So Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Okay. Nice. I forgot we had it. All right, but that's it. Now we have the piece for the boiler. I think we could go do the boiler puzzle now. Has a light wood-like quality. Yes. Nice. You know what's funny? Is that in the reviews, the reviewers complained about the puzzles and said that they were too difficult. Have they never played a survival horror game with puzzles before? Like, have you seriously never played a game like this? These puzzles are pretty easy. I like them, actually. Alright, so now we got this room. Imagine if I had a closet in my house where I kept all the drinking water. What do you mean, like, the water closet? Someone said a water closet is a, a room that only has a shower and a toilet. Isn't that every bathroom? What else would it have? Bathroom has a toilet. This is the toilet. This is the bathtub, because back then they didn't even really have showers, right? Here's your sink. This is a formal bathroom. Not a water closet, but they called it a water closet. I don't know. Anyway, let's go over here. We didn't go in here yet. So this is the kids' room. This must be that kids' room. Why does she seem so familiar? <clears throat> cool. Here we go. Uh, some creepy ass old dolls, right? Yuck. That? Oh god, a jack in the box. What's gonna happen? Huh. That wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> it really wasn't. Okay. What's this? A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. A masquerade is going to happen? A masquerade party? And she asked the girl to make her a mask? Is there a mask anywhere in the room? Not that I see. You can do the Jack in the Box again? No. Oh, it's a lanyette. Okay, I didn't realize that. When it makes you worse. So we have a Rorschach test and a Jack in the Box. I guess there's going to be a third one. Okay. So far, the only one that we've gotten so far was the one that completed and got us the shotgun. Right? Whoa, wait a minute. Look at the shotgun. Do you see that? Why is it shadowing like that? Oh, God. It doesn't do that against the wall, but it does it against the drapes. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the ghosting on the drapes. Oh, God, that's terrible ghosting. I wonder why it only does it on the drapes. It's like a weird visual effect. That's really odd. Well, we got the lanyape or whatever it's called. But we did not find a mask in here. I don't know where that mask would be. Also, once again, take a look at the reflection coming off of that object on the bureau. It it shows a different perspective. It's reflecting as if it were reflecting from the corner over there. So all the reflective objects in the house reflect in the wrong directions. Does that have any significance, do you think? Toa Idar says the Jack in the Box is a call out to the game called Jack in the Dark, which is a game between parts one and two of Alone in the Dark. Oh, I didn't know that. It's Lan Yap, not Lan Yap, so it's pronounced Lan Yap. Okay. I received a tip, a $6.66 tip from Ugly Tuna Roll. Thank you, Ugly Tuna Roll. Let's see what they have to say. Funny you say that. Some places in Japan still call the bathroom, the washroom, the water closet due to when England tried to establish and spread their religion in the 1800s. They never colonized, though, but it seems like they never changed it. Cheers. Really? The water closet. <laughs> it, it sounds so weird. For the record, absolutely nobody in the United States that I know of call their bathroom a water closet. I've never heard that one before. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's continue. So now we have the piece we have for the boiler puzzle. We can go back to the boiler and do that puzzle, and that's probably going to warp us into the other world again. That's what those things do. <clears throat> okay, so we got to go back downstairs all the way. Yeah, down the stairs. 
Okay. We don't have the France key. We have to find the France key. This would be going back this way. Go back down to the basement, correct? Still wrecked. Now we can go up and down at all, on a whim. Still don't know why there's blood here, though. I don't know if that's ever going to be explained. <laughs> Alright, staircase is over here, right? Go back downstairs to the boiler. Which room was it? We're at it right now. Okay, we could do the boiler puzzle. Now we have to make heads or tails of this. Oh man, this is complex, huh? Do we have to rotate as well? We do? Oh man. Oh, this could take a while. So that's the top of a church. We can maybe use that as a guideline. Uh, holy crap. Did that line up? No. Oh man. Wow, this one is going to be tricky. Looking for the bottom of a building. Why don't I see a building in any of these? Oh. That. And. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, the sun probably has to be there. With a ray possibly coming out of the sun. Okay, those two line up. That doesn't line up. Oh my god. None of those line up, so that's not right. This looks like it goes on top. Like that, and then maybe this goes here. No, that doesn't line up. That doesn't line up. That lines up. Okay, that lined up right there. That's correct right there. And then... Yes, okay, that lined up. Are these all lined up? They are. These four are correct now. And now these two are correct. Oh, good. I got six correct now. Okay. Uh... Oh, we're, we're getting good progress here, actually. Did that lined up? Did this line up? No. This does not line up here. This probably goes over here, then. Aha! We did it. Hmm. Oh, what is this? How do you do this? What the hell? Seven, five, nine. That must be the combination we need to use. Seven, five, nine. Okay, I guess it's a random order. Seven, nine, five. Okay, we'll try nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five. Okay. <clears throat> Black glass is showing. The wine cellar. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. Yep. We have to go to the wine cellar. Where was the wine cellar? We're close to it. Isn't it right around the corner? Uh, yes. <clears throat> what the hell? Where are we? I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. Holy crap. 
We got teleported again. This is not... Yeah, look. That is definitely not where the map said we were. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Can we not do anything else? It just warped us to a new area. Yeah, look. That's it. Everything's locked. We had to do this. Okay. We're exploring outside. Probably going to be enemies out here. <clears throat> Spooky atmosphere. I like it. So, let's look around for items in the environment. Here's a broken statue. Uh, I can't read what it says. Yeah, I can't. It's all, like, like distorted. Oh! Aha, uh -huh, what's this? Ammo. Alright, good. I'm glad I'm looking in the environment because I need ammo. I only have a few bullets. <clears throat> oh, shotgun. Let's not waste that yet till we need it. <laughs> the crows. The crows. Big building over there. It's probably where we're headed. We probably wouldn't render a building that large in detail if we weren't going to go to it and do something at it. Any way to go back here? Nope. Invisible wall. <clears throat> Reminds me of like the, that that Mortal Kombat that had the crypt. If you remember, that had a uh, the graveyard in it. Totally reminds me of that. Okay, we're going that way. But what's in here? The Hartwoods family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. Hmm. I figured she was. A Yankee like me. Nope. Red Sox. Garden Rivals. In here? Got water dripping. That's about it. You probably moved away or something. She definitely didn't seem like she was from New Orleans. But it doesn't mean that her family doesn't have roots here. So, nothing in here though. I agree, this game has great atmosphere. I'm really liking this. And the graphics are not half bad. And see, those are all faded plaques. You can't read them. Over here? I can? Oh. chest over here. Look at this. A hidden item. Ammo. Cool. Shotgun shells. Even better. I thought it was handgun ammo. Shotgun shells. They hid some shotgun shells over here. Cool. Oh, shit! Oh. God damn thing. That was hard to fight because you couldn't see. Oh, I didn't waste any shotgun shells on it, thankfully. You get shotgun shells, but then you have to kill an enemy, so you waste ammo. <laughs> so it's a trade-off. Look. Wants a medallion. I'm assuming this is what it wants. The blessing. Key item. Rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. What's this? There was another one under it. it. Had two plates. Now what do we got here? Got an amazing puzzle. <laughs> How's the gunplay in overall combat? Clunky. But I feel like it's supposed to be clunky. I think that's the idea. It's hard to get straight shots. Once you fire once, the reticle doesn't like narrow anymore. So it's very hard to get more than one accurate shot off, leading you to kind of flub it and then go into melee to finish an enemy. But again, I think it was done intentionally to make the combat more challenging. If anything, there's low ammo 
But there's there's a ton of healing, so I'm never really afraid I'm gonna die. That could, oh god, what is that fucking? Thing? I killed oh god! <laughs> it toppled. You see what I mean? Like, they're hard to hit, but then you could just kind of like swing and don't care if you get hit. Doesn't really matter. Came out of the crypt. All right. Another puzzle? Yep. Brown. Nothing. Get anything. And this gate's closed. Oh, oh. Ammo. Okay, good. Bullet. Take any ammo I find. Love the music. Wait a minute. Okay, we go this way. This is a new area. <laughs> Birds trying to scare you. El Grey Zoro says, I like survival horror with a slower pace. It adds to the experience. It's pretty good, right? <clears throat> Carl says, I'm new to your channel. Looking for a new game out of all the ones I played recently. What would I recommend? Uh, really depends on what you're looking for, right? If you're looking for a game that's insanely long turn-based RPG, get Baldur's Gate 3. If you're looking for a game that really captures Japanese culture, get Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Or if you like Hawaiian stuff, also that game's great. Uh, oh boy. Oh, we got multiple lumbering enemies that direction. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this game so far, I'm only three hours in, but I'm liking it as a survival horror game. Tekken 8 is a fine fighting game. Like, I have so, you know, so many games I've played recently, and they're all pretty good. I can't even think of a game that I played recently that was bad, you know? Well, it looks like we gotta kill a bunch of enemies. Let's do it. Oh god. Oh, you grabbed my ass. Hard boiled. Playing with a shotgun. You vomited. He's not dead? Holy shit. Now he's dead. This thing was tough. Now I'm almost out of ammo and, and eat out of my, both of my guns, so this is not good. The only thing is, you see, they barely do any damage. That, I think, is the one thing they might have screwed up. He hit me, but I barely took any damage. So, I'm not really afraid. I don't really need to heal, right? I don't feel like I'm in danger or risk right now because nothing's going to kill me at this rate. Fish is spitting. <laughs> A lot of throwables, but I haven't really used them yet. There's an enemy, but I'm not gonna waste ammo trying to shoot it from here. Now you're walking slow. Definitely take the ammo. Press Y to sneak. Oh, we're aware of that done that before. I don't know if there's like a stealth attack though. We haven't figured that out yet. We haven't really had opportunity to use a stealth attack. Double? Nice. Sneaky sneaky. Oh, I heard an enemy. Where? Oh, he's behind me. He's following me. <laughs> Looks like the shovel's about to break. I'll just pick up the sledgehammer then. Okay. Is that it? 
I thought I saw another item that I had missed, but I guess not. I thought there was... An oh, wait. Oh, it's just a broken thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Hellgrey Zoro says, At the same time, I prefer less scary games and more slightly action-based, like Resident Evil or Dead Space. I can't play games like Fatal Frame. I'm too much of a coward. <clears throat> Oh god! Just tanking it now. Tanked it out. Now I guess I'll heal. Sledgehammered the shit out of it. The melee weapons are better than the guns. Because the guns, after one shot, they don't fire accurate anymore. While you could just swing away with these weapons and just pummel the enemies. That's like, uh, movie signs. You swing away constantly. Spam that swing. Alright. Sledgehammer. Boom. Boom. I wanna break off all your limbs. Sledgehammer. If you're a creepy ghoulie. Or a default monstrosity. I'm here to pummel your ass, baby. A giant sledgehammer for thee. <laughs> I wanna be dun, dun, the sledgehammer. Dun, dun. I wanna crush in your fat skull. <laughs> Ew. Oh, wait, do I need this? It's an item? A cruci- it's a weapon? How is the crucifix a weapon? What? What the- <laughs> Uh, if you would ask me, what's the most unlikely weapon I'm gonna use in Alone in the Dark? Swinging a crucifix around probably would have been it. I didn't expect that to work, so let's drink. See? There's- there's definitely an abundance of healing. And enemies don't do a lot of damage. It does take away any real feeling of like danger or risk. The atmosphere is creepy, the enemies are creepy, the combat's very survival horror-esque, but definitely the health aspect is kind of silly, in my opinion. We have different ways to go. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this takes us down. Do we want to go down, or do we want to go... I don't know. Let's see what's down here. Cockroaches! Cockroach. A cucaracha. You opened a casket. What a jerk. This has created the dead. There's nothing even in there. These are mutations, not vampires. Oh, true. Five shots to kill that. And I actually hit each one this time. I wasn't whiffing. These are disgusting maggot men. Look. Look at the maggots. That is nasty, man. Translucent maggots. Maggot man! Yeah, I got the omen key item. I guess that's gonna open another door somewhere. Rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. I wonder if that's uh, the door that we saw earlier that we couldn't do. The puzzle. Where's that coming from? Here! Look at this! Look at this! You can't get me! You're locked up, big boy! You're locked! You can't get! Can I hit him? Yeah, I can hit him! Look! Back at you! May the power of Christ compel you! A face? He's gone! I struck his arm and he ran away. <laughs> There sure are a lot of melee weapons. Oh, mouse. Now where will we be? More ammo. I think we came out the other. Oh my! 
It's a big boy. He's got a big arm. It must be a boss. Okay. Oh shit, there's more than one. Came off. Well, that's that, I guess. Ugh, his whole armor looks like a maggot. Ew, disgusting. So there's a lot of throwables in this game, but I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Like, I never really used one, right? It looks like I really need to use one. <laughs> it looks like you could squeeze through here. Oh, okay. We didn't do that yet. By the way, no map here, right? It There's no map here. You just have to figure it out. So where did we go? We had gone this way. No, this is where we had come from originally. And we went this way. And it went downstairs and we did all that stuff. We got the item. Where did we come out? Because there's all these different ways. Did we come out here, or did they come out from here? Oh, we didn't do this. We haven't been down here. Huh. Flooded area. What's down here? What lies beneath? A different door? Hmm. The blessing, the omen. How does this work? Doesn't really. Oh, wait a minute. We have to line up. We're in a friggin' crypt. So I guess we're done with the with the graveyard. We're in a crypt now. What sucks is there was that I, that way to squeeze through, and I didn't do it. And I wonder if there's an item up there, like one of those lan yaps or whatever they're called. I might have missed a lan yap by doing this. Oh, I guess I'm not getting it because look, the ladder disappeared. In fact, there's not even look. There's not even a way out anymore. It completely disappeared when we came down here. Well, we're not going back, and we're not getting the lan yap. I guess. Darn. One of those situations where your environment changed once you went too far. All right, El Grey Zoro says, you remember the game where you play as a woman in a mental hospital? I believe it was an indie game. Uh. Hmm. Woman in a mental hospital. I don't remember. Yeah, I guess we're done with the graveyard. What's weird is there was a door at the graveyard we didn't go in yet. Remember, you needed, you needed items for a puzzle. We didn't have them yet. I skipped the door, and now we're in a completely different area of the game, so does that mean we just missed that completely? Oh, shit! What the hell? Oh, God! I'm oh, my God! Yo! I am fucked! Are you kidding? I can't even move! Oh, my God! Holy shit! Wow. I got completely destroyed. And there's no way back. Nope. So I have to do this. I got messed up, man. Why didn't I fight back? Did you not see what happened? I got mobbed. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't get a shot off. I guess it's time to be a little bit more careful.
Well, that was my first death. Dead end? I think this is where the monster comes from. Oh my god, I'm not- Dude, I'm dead again! I can't move! I literally can't move! What happens? Yo, they all spawn on you. What are you supposed to do there? I guess you kill the one guy and you just start running the other direction? So that way they don't mob around you. That's fucking crazy! Oh, look, this is where they come from. Wow. So maybe, okay. They come from the room behind you. So maybe they expect you to run forward and then turn and fight. Or maybe just keep running forward. Let's just try running through the whole thing and see what happens. Because maybe that's what they're intending. Just run past it all. Damn, that's a crazy setup, and nothing like that in the game so far. Oh yeah, look, 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 it's every direction. Just run. Too many of them. Yes. Oh, now if you only said that before, I can't move. I'm stuck, dude. I can't move. I'm frozen. There was an invisible wall, and I couldn't move. It was an invisible wall. I got stuck. I couldn't move at all. Oh my god. Let's try again. At least the autosave is good. Invisible wall got me. Oh, too many of them. I gotta get out of here. get away I guess I don't know if I went the right way because there were two ways to go the path split and I went left instead of right and right had the light on it so I don't know if this is actually the right way or not but it looks like I got an item the sacrifice okay now what do we got here then I have three of these plates okay I guess this was the right way so what was the other way then? Before I go up and I get locked out of here, what if I go the other direction? First of all, I don't think the enemies exist anymore because I don't hear them, so I think they spawn. Oh, look what happened. So once again, I will not know what would have been the other way because as you keep going, the game locks off your previous path. Damn, so now who knows if I went the right way or not. I mean, obviously I got the plate for the puzzle, but I wonder what would have happened if I went the other direction, right? Damn, the game really locks you out. Hmm. Follow the bloody ladder. The name is Tormented Souls. Oh, I played Tormented Souls. I did a full playthrough of it. I really liked it. I believe they're making a sequel to it. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, look where we are. Right where we started. 
And now we have three plates. So we can probably do this puzzle now on the door. But before we do that, we should backtrack and see if we can go that other way that I wanted to go. Wait, this isn't where it is it? No. This is different. Is this earlier? Oh, this is earlier. This is where we originally came out. Oh, what the hell? Good. Whoa! Look who it is! It's what's her name? It's the writer. She's dead. Yeah. Her uh her wheelchair's flipped and she's dead in there. Oh man, that sucks. She died. One of the monstrosities killed her. <laughs> that really sucks. And there's no way to get in there either, huh? Nope. Nope. Cassandra Beauregard. Author and victim. Born April 29th, 1883. Died June 21st, 1930. Vitum Brevum Esse Longum Artum. Anyone know what that means? Latin, right? But I don't know what that means. That's crazy. This is her tomb. Like, she's dead and she has a tomb. Or her body's just there. Flip. Sandra Beauregard. Yeah, I wonder how many people didn't find that in the game because they didn't go this way, right? Because that's an optional thing to do. Nothing else over here? I guess not. Well, we know she's dead now. That really sucks, obviously. You don't get to meet that character. She's already dead. Uh, I played some of the first Parasite Eve. I never finished it. It's a weird game. <laughs> to say the least. Alright, that's where we came up. We're back into this courtyard where we can do the puzzle. But now... There's the puzzle. And we have all three plates to do it. But can I go back? ammo here I missed, apparently. Unless it just wasn't there before. Can I go back this way and go the alternate way I didn't go? I think there might have been a hidden line yip or whatever there. We've done this. We went over here already. Nope. I think there was a thing I, met, I missed. <clears throat> Walk through this goddamn water again. This is what most people would not do. They would not go back and look for stuff like I'm doing. Or just rush through it. But we got over here. We we're sneaking around. Oh, is this all it is? Is that... No, this isn't it. We come through here. Oh, you can't do it again? Oh. I wanted to go back to where we were because there was an area we hadn't snuck through. And I think there was a Lan Yap or Lan Yap or whatever it's called there. So we missed it now. We're not going to get it. There's a Molotov here that you can throw. Oh, wow. What the hell? Doesn't ignite? How do you ignite it? It glows, but it doesn't ignite. There's got to be a way to ignite it. Maybe you shoot it. You could have covered an enemy with that and shot it, and the enemy would have burned. X shooters loving it so far. I like it a lot too. I really do. I'm liking it a lot. I keep forgetting you can dodge with the uh, circle. Oh, well, I guess B. This is Xbox. You can dodge with that. I forget all about that. Well, that sucks. We definitely missed one of the collectibles. I guarantee it. It was there in that area we could shimmy through two things. I didn't get it. So, this game definitely has a lot of missable stuff. Because you get locked out of areas if you pass through them without having searched thoroughly. But again, when I was... I didn't know you couldn't go back up. I thought there was another way to go. I didn't know that going through that door would have locked us down into the crypt. And then when we were in the crypt, I went left instead of right. And who knows what was to the right. Because then we got locked out of the right choice. So, I guarantee we probably missed a couple of collectibles here. All right. Well, let's go do the puzzle in advance. Dentronics says, 
like the game makes you want to do a second playthrough to find out. Of course, but I don't think we'll be doing that. I heard that a second run, the only difference is when you switch characters, uh, that they have different dialogue, but it's the same game. Like, the, everything, the combat, the puzzles are all the same, huh. so. So now we have to have all these work. Um, that. There you go. Oh? But they're all lined up. Are they not? They're totally all lined up. Oh! Okay, hold on. Uh. Well, crap. There you go. Now they're all upright. Okay, what's next? Whoa. What the hell is this now? We already found Beauregard dead. Who is this? The other one. This is the 33-year-old. Who thought that she's an art one of the artist colony Please don't people? Go to. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? <laughs> I made, I made a terrible promise with some. With who? The, the devil? Man. Who is he? No, 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 no! Don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Uh oh. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. Him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. Why is he talking about That's crazy, Jerry? Exactly. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Terawea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? <clears throat> That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Uh oh. Run. Holy shit, this guy's Don't huge! Don't take you! Whoa! What is going on? Who was that? That was the dark oh. man, this huge guy. <sighs> Holy moly. Oh, he found her. He's in her room now. Is she really dead? My everything. Clue. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Hmm. And a luggage key, J. Hartwood. And an achievement, found and lost. Talk to Jeremy in the chapel. Okay. Unlock Jeremy's steamer trunk in his room. That's right, remember his trunk is in his room? Uh, so now we're in her room, which was always locked. Yep. And uh, 
Not looking. Wait, wait a minute. No, we were in this room before, but she was not in it. She's, She's dead. dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Wow. So she was the 33-year-old who swore that she was also at this house as part of the artist's colony in the past. So everyone was like, what, is she possessed by the ghost of the people who maybe died here during the hurricane? Is she just crazy? Well, now she's dead. Damn. And she wasn't here before. We were in this room earlier. And you start an artist colony. Yeah. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Yep. See, Elisabetta Perosi. There she is. Could it really be her? Was she sucked into a time warp or an alternate dimension and then she came back? Weird, right? Like, who knows? We don't know yet. But who killed her and how did she die? That's freaking weird. She died out of nowhere. And how'd she get in this room? Because she was already... We already were in here. Before she was. Well. We have to go down to... Well, no. His room's right down the hallway, right? Yeah, we're going to go into his room. And we're going to check out what's in there. Now, I have an interesting question. Do you notice that certain rooms are pink? And certain rooms are blue? It says explored and completed. So what I think that means is there's still more to do in certain rooms. It says there's more in the mezzanine. There's more in Jeremy's room. And there's more in the sitting room. So there's a reason to go back to certain rooms. Yeah. Looks like we're done with everything down in the basement. We've actually completed all the puzzles in the basement now. See that? We haven't been to the infirmary yet. That's a new area for us to explore later. We also haven't been to the stuff on that floor there. It's all been locked off to us. The empty room, Ruth's room, and McCarthy's room. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. And Dr. Ray's apartment we haven't entered yet either. And the attic we haven't been in. So there's still quite a lot of stuff we haven't done yet. And there's a nasty coffee stain <laughs> in the center of this map. It was very, very clumsy and inconsiderate. Whoever was using this and put a coffee down on it, ridiculous. Stop splashing your coffee on the map. Um, okay. So I guess what we're gonna do is just walk right down the hallway to Jeremy's room and go in and see what's in there in that steamer trunk. Probably our next clue to where we go next in the, in the Kanto. Oh, who was that giant guy? The Dark Man? He certainly didn't look humanoid. The kind of a demon or something that Jeremy did a deal with. The Barlow Lens. Okay. Now we go da back downstairs to that telescope. And if you remember, that was the drawing room. Yup, there it is. So we have to go back to the hallway. Well, there's multiple ways to get to it. We go down the servant stairs. That gets us a little closer. And then we go to the library, the parlor, and the drawing room. Yup. The telescope lock. Why would he lock that up? What kind of person doesn't use a coaster when you're using when you're on paperwork? I told you, irresponsible person, right? Who the hell would be? First of all, you're drinking coffee right next to a map. Like, you understand that perhaps you should be careful there. <laughs> you might have an issue. You know that sitting room is bothering me because I swear I thoroughly searched it, but it's saying there's something else in there. That's why it's pink. Like, what did I miss in the sitting room? We went and oh okay it's this we don't have the france key yet that's what it is we need the france key got it okay but uh yeah who sits produce with a coffee right next to a map pretty stupid move now we go through the library Everything's changed, right? Everything looks the same. No items. Okay. Be right in here if I remember correctly. All right, we're gonna use the lens. Look for answers in the stars.
Whoa. 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 What the hell? Oh no, what happened? Whoa. What the hell? There's someone sitting here. It's a statue? Sitting at the table? What? <laughs> How did a sa statue get to the table? There's another statue over here. Like a bunch of monks and a nice... This is a very nice peacock. What the heck? There's another statue sitting on the armchair there. We've got a puzzle. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We've got a puzzle. Do we rotate? Do we rotate or no? Oh, my God. Uh, don't rotate? If you don't rotate, you do it this way then. Nine, four, one. Uh huh. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? The dining room somewhere? Well, we're back here. What did it say? Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Tarawea? So the talisman has shown the gate opens in the dining room. Where on earth is the dining room? I don't remember a dining room. Uh... I don't see a dining room. Oh my god, it's right there. I'm blind. We gotta go back to the main hallway. And off of the main hallway, there's a dining room. Oh, I remember it. We only were in there very briefly. When we left the Grand Parlor, we went through there to get back to the main area of the game. Yeah, so we were only in there for like a second, which is why I didn't remember it. And there wasn't anything significant in there when we were there the first time. Okay. All right. Well, everyone, the game, I think the game just got a lot better, don't you? Like, I feel like it got interesting. We got some good, interesting stuff going on. We actually had our first, like, mini, like, boss fight. Um, Some cool, spooky stuff. Sadly, two people are dead. We already know that, uh, what was her name? I already forgot her name, Loretti. And then also the writer is dead. Two of them are dead already. And we have to figure out what is going on here and who is the dark man that's stalking Jeremy and why do you make a deal with the dark man and what on earth is happening? I don't know, but I like the game. This is it's spooky, it's interesting. Keep it up. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you're still watching on demand on YouTube, please consider liking the video, leaving some comments, maybe a super thanks. I'll see you next time. Good stuff.